Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Haya Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And God's Word, the Holy Bible, is our only standard for truth. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Now, our text this morning is going to come out of 1 Corinthians and chapter 8. And before we look at our text, it would be remiss for me to pass by what is upon the minds and hearts of so many people. And if you're like me, and I'm sure that you are friends, you are at least looking and watching a lot of these videos that have been put out about this day, September 23rd, in the year of our Lord, 2017. And there is one main theme that I have seen running through every single one of these videos. And I hope that you find something different in our ministry here at Haya Kadosh. And this is the one theme, the prevalent feature that I see in all of these videos. They speak with such authority that they have it all figured out, that this is exactly what is going to take place. And those who do not believe that these things are going to take place call these ideas stupid, asinine. They are mocking those who would believe such things. And we can't sit on either side of that fence, friends. We can't say that it's definitely going to take place. And we can't say that it's definitely not going to take place. Because none of us are God. None of us have the physical, actual mind of Christ and know such things. And so if you're like me, you're very troubled in your spirit by those who take such a stance. When I watch these videos and people speak with such confidence on either side of this topic, it just really bothers me, especially when I know the verse that is our text this morning. So if you have your Bible, and I trust that you do, turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 8, and I want to look at verse 2, because this is what it says. If any man think that he knoweth anything, <laughs> he knows nothing. He knows nothing. And so what arrogance and pride for us to run around thinking and acting like we've got it all figured out, when what we really need to do is we need to present both sides to the masses to those who would watch our videos and let them make a decision and stand upon the word of God as the word of God being true when Jesus said, thy will be done. So many people are counting on something to happen on September 23rd, but is not that their will? What if it is the Lord's will to linger, to give others opportunity to come into the kingdom? There are those that would say we're not going to go through a moment of the tribulation, but what if it is God's will for us as his people to go through the tribulation? They reject such ideas because it goes against their will. But friends, we have to approach these topics, especially when it comes to the end times, because no one knows. We can show passages of scripture that support either or any idea. Whether you believe in pre-trib, mid-trib, or post-trib, there are scriptures to support all three views. So which one is right? Well, it would be that of pan-trib. It doesn't really matter. In the end, it's all going to pan out. Amen? Jesus is on the throne. He is king. And we are his loyal subjects. And we are simply to be faithful to him each and every day as we live our lives on this earth. Look at Acts chapter 1, and the disciples come to Jesus right as he's about to depart from them. And they have one final question for him. And this question is upon their minds because in verse 3, it tells us that Jesus was speaking to them of things pertaining to the kingdom of God. And so being assembled together with them, he commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, you have heard of me, the promise being of the coming of the Holy Spirit, the indwelling presence of the very spirit of the living God residing within the hearts of men, 
And then it says in verse 6, they therefore had come together and they asked him saying, Lord, when will these things come? When will you restore the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons. The father has put these in his own power, but you, you will receive power, the promise from the father of the indwelling Holy Spirit in your lives. And by having his spirit in your lives, you will be witnesses unto me. Your duty is to live faithfully before me and remain true to my principles, my statutes, my commandments, and my laws each and every day that you live upon this earth. So basically, Jesus is saying, don't worry about the end times. It will all pan out. You just live faithfully for me. Do the things that I've commanded you to do. And so friends, as intriguing as I find some of these videos, as informative as I find some of these videos, and the things, all the events that are going on, you know, 33 days ago was the eclipse. The signs in the heaven haven't taken place for 6,000 years. And, and on and on and on, they begin to pile up and they point to something very significant. Yet in my spirit, I am the same man today that I will be on Monday, that I will be Wednesday of next week, that I will be in a month, that I will be in a year, God willing. You see, I'm not looking for the return of Jesus because Jesus is here with me now. Certainly, I want to go to the kingdom. Certainly, I want to reside with Jesus forever. Certainly, I'm looking forward to talking to great men and women who have gone on before me. Certainly, I'm looking for all the pleasures and the splendors that the Father has awaiting us. But friends, my heart is overjoyed. I'm full of glory and joy unspeakable because Jesus is with me today. His spirit is in me today. And I truly hope all of those who are spending so much time and effort in watching these videos and trying to figure these things out, I truly pray that the joy of the Lord Jesus, the risen Messiah, is erupting from your soul and your heart on Sunday morning, Monday morning, Tuesday morning, as much as it is today, as you anticipate so many great things that are supposed to happen. Don't be disappointed, friends. Lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Why? Because the blood of the Lord Jesus has washed you clean from your sins, and his spirit resides within you, giving you victory and power to live above said sin each and every day of your life. And for that, a hallelujah should be on your voice. A smile should be upon your face. And joy should flood your heart like rivers of living water. Well, I love you, friends. I am so grateful that you're again here with us. And you know, no matter what happens, whether he comes or whether he does not, in all things, may he be glorified. And let me end by just simply saying this. You're probably going to spend the next few days, weeks, maybe months, trying to minister to those who have been let down by all the assumptions and promises that have been made through these videos. Friends, deal with them with love and patience and explain to them the truth, the reality of God's word pertaining to such events. Because it is as Jesus said, no man knows the day or the hour. And the reason that that is, is because it's really not important. Our duty as the people of God are to live for him each and every day, to do what he has commanded of us. Because as the book of Amos tells us in chapter 5 and verse 18, Woe unto you. Woe unto you is not a good thing, friends. Woe unto you, says the Lord, that you would desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? You're anticipating you want the day of the Lord to come because of all you're going to benefit from. But what about the masses that are going to be lost, that are going to be eternally doomed to a place called hell of severe punishment and torture? 
Friends, we shouldn't be longing for the day of the Lord. We should be living for the Lord, bringing as many people into the kingdom as we can. Well, I love you. I pray that the Lord Jesus will bless your day, that you will walk in the joy of the Spirit with praise upon your lips. Now, as he wills, and until tomorrow, friends, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.